This is the Sankey Canal, aka the Sankey Brook Navigation, aka the St Helens Canal. And it was proposed in 1755. And that kind of makes it the first canal, at least the first canal of the industrial age. If you don't count Roman aqueducts, and a little canal in China, and another little canal in France, that makes this the first commercial canal. And it was proposed to move coal. In 1540, the Elton Head family accidentally found a seam of coal whilst digging clay pits. And that really kicked off coal mining in St Helens in particular a place called Sutton Heath. Before the building of the canal, the only way to get that coal to Warrington to take it to market would be by pack horse. So they proposed this canal and they built it wide enough so it could accommodate Mersey Flats. Mersey Flats are about five metres wide. They're long, flat, wide boats that were predominantly used on the River Mersey. Coal was transported to the River Weaver where they had a lot of salt works and the coal was used to evaporate the water out of the salt so we could have lots of lovely delicious salt. The last company to use the canal was the Sankey Sugar Company and they used it right up until the 1950s, getting their sugar from Liverpool, down the Mersey, onto the Sankey Canal, all the way up to Worldstown. When they stopped bringing in the sugar, the canal closed and it was completely abandoned by 1963. But in 1985, a local group calling themselves SCARS, the Sankey Canal Restoration Society, decided that they were going to clean it up a bit and actually filled sections like this back up with water and maintained it. They've still got a plan to extend the canal four miles at the St Helens end to link it to the Lee branch of the Leeds Liverpool Canal so that canal boats could actually come on the canal for the first time since. 1963 To me you were the sun itself Sankey Viaduct and this is definitely the world's first railway viaduct. That's because it carries the world's first railway, the Liverpool Manchester Railway. The viaduct was designed by George Stevenson, the railway was designed by George Stevenson and the little funny steam engine, the yellow one, Stevenson's rocket, was designed by George Stevenson. The railway was opened in 1830 and this viaduct cost £46,000, which in today's money would be about £1.3 It's 183 metres long, it's 22 metres at one end, 18 metres at the other end. But does it need to be that tall? Well, not for the lay of the land. They actually had to build an embankment to bring the railway up to the level of the viaduct. So why is it so tall? It's because of those Mersey flats. They have really tall masts. And as they would go down the Sankey Canal, they would need to get under the viaducts. So Mr. Stevenson had to build them very, very high. In fact, each one of these archways is 15 metres across. It's made of red bricks and yellow sandstone. 
and the sandstone was quarried from around the area at a place called Olive Mount Cutting. In 1966, it was awarded Grade 1 status, what with it being the world's first railway viaduct. And it still runs today. In fact, in 2015, it was electrified. Thank you.